caves and our ancient ancestors are one of the most enduring mysteries still around today. Nobody really knows about how society in ancient humans really worked, but they left us a clue in the form of art. When we first moved to this amazing part of France, we were surrounded by caves. Some of the most magical, mystical and beautiful examples of cave art are here. Ancient humans, just like you and I, lived here 20, 30, 50,000 years ago, and they left tantalizing examples of their culture as art on the walls of the caves. And these caves are not their homes, they're mystical places where ceremonies took place. If only we could understand the art in the caves, we would understand their culture. And I have a very personal idea of how to unlock the secrets of ancient art. I'm not an archaeologist, but I am a filmmaker. I'd seen cave art in books, but the first time I actually visited a cave here in France, two things struck me. First, an obvious observation, and I think this fact is overlooked. And that's the fact that all the art is augmented reality. The ancient artists saw the shape of the cave walls. They're never flat and augmented the bumps and the hollows, the shadows and the lines to represent animals. They added necks and heads and legs and tails to the naturally occurring bumps in the cave. And I'm not the first to mention that, it's a well-known fact. But I noticed something else. And that's because I'm a filmmaker and I've studied early filmmaking. Let me tell you a mystery. The mystery is about the horse's leg. A horse gallops so fast that the human eye can't really tell whether a horse leaves one foot always on the ground. Boom, 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 boom. So all ancient paintings of horses always had one hoof planted on the ground. There was a big debate. Other people thought they leapt into the air during their stride. And here's a marvellous illustration, a halfway house where this artist has hidden one of the feet behind a goose. But along came a hero of mine, Edward Mybridge. In the late 19th century, before the invention of cinema, Mybridge came up with a still photographic contraption with trip wires to reveal the secrets of the galloping horse. And these are his results. Notice in the center of its stride, all four hooves are off the ground. So what's Edward Mybridge and the horse mystery got to do with cave art? Well, I think it's directly connected. What you're seeing here is an animated horse a horse split up into different frames that our brain puts together as movement if we see the frames fast enough. Classically in film, 24, 25 frames per second. That's exactly how animation works. And when I first saw the ancient art in caves, it was obvious to me that they were animated, that they move.
And here's my mock-up of how it might have worked. The animated effect might have been produced by doing drawings in sequence and then revealing one after another under candlelight. And there's evidence that this theory is true. Just look at the multiple legs drawn on this painting. And the magical effect of evoking life by moving a light over a three-dimensional object. And there's another thing. Today we see cave art with electric lights, but the ancients saw it under flickering candlelight. And I think under the light of a flickering flame, it augments the animation effect. And there's one more thing. As a storyteller, I noticed and that's linear narrative or storytelling. The caves are covered in overlapping art. Imagine revealing this, 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 and this in a narrative sequence. That's exactly what filmmaking is. Scene after scene, shot after shot, building up a story. The ancient's brains worked exactly as ours. We like linkage. We see a bow and arrow, we see a fallen deer. The arrow shot the deer. That's how our brain works. It's often assumed that this storytelling in a linear narrative came much later in human history but I think there's examples of it in the ancient art of caves. And I go further. I say that the ancients animated their drawings to evoke life, to animate the animals. What do you think of my theory? I'm very interested in your views. You hold the key to the mysteries of the universe. Knowledge is out there, and that's the idea of this YouTube channel. Keep watching, share with friends, and subscribe for more, because the truth is out there. <laughs>